Okay children, now I am again back with part 9 of cyclic properties of circle chapter. Okay, now under cyclic properties we have done already one that is in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles are supplementary that we have finished in the previous part 8. Now we will be doing the other cyclic property. Once again let me remind you that these cyclic properties are very very important. At least one question based on the cyclic properties compulsorily you can expect in your board paper. Usually that is the trend we have observed. Anyway. So now the next theorem that is our according for our convenience we are numbering it as theorem 9. Now the exterior angle exterior okay don't call it external it is the correct word is exterior okay the exterior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Okay. It sounds very much similar to the theorem of a triangle and usually children make the confusion and make common error. In the triangle, exterior angle in a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. Whereas, in a cyclic quadrilateral, the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle, which is right opposite to it. So, now let us consider a cyclic quadrilateral. A, B, C, D. Okay. Now how the exterior angle will be formed? By producing any one side. So let us produce side AB to say E. Okay. So now this angle that is angle B, C, E is the exterior angle. Right. Okay. Now according to this theorem, this exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle that is this is the angle opposite to it okay so now let us verify whether it is true or not now let us this is the center of the circle now we will see that angle a b c and angle C, B, E is 180 degree because they are a linear pair. Okay. Or we can say A, B is a straight line. So that is why these two angles are supplementary. So let us write down angle A, B, C plus angle C, B, E okay, is equal to 180 degrees. You can write in short, the reason is linear pair. Okay. AB is a straight line and these two are adjacent angles to each other. So therefore, they are a linear pair and is equal to 180 degrees. <coughs> now, in the previous theorem, we have learned that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So according to that theorem, angle ABC, okay, angle ABC plus Angle ADC, okay, angle ABC plus angle ADC also is 180 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. That is the theorem we have learned. Okay, according to that theorem, the sum of these two angles is 180. So now suppose we call this equation 1 and we call this equation 2. So from equation 1 and 2, these two are equal. That is angle ABC plus angle CB is equal to angle ABC plus angle ADC because both are supplementary. So 
equation from equation 1 and 2 what it follows angle ABC plus angle CBE okay angle ABC plus angle CBE is equal to angle ABC plus angle ADC okay now angle ABC angle ABC we can cancel so what it follows and this we got it from 1 and 2 okay how we got it from 1 and 2 the <coughs> right hands are equal so left hand sides are also equal now angle ABC angle ABC both same so get cancelled on either side so what it implies angle CBE is equal to angle ADC angle CBE is nothing but the exterior angle and angle ADC is nothing but the interior opposite angle so they both are equal so hence we have verified the theorem okay so we have verified what that the exterior angle in a quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle okay now it can be applied not only the side AB is produced and only it is true no that is not the case even if side BC is produced or side AD is produced this theorem is true for any exterior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral so let me just draw and show you how it will be here we produced AB okay so we will produce some other side and show you for example in a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D just now we have produced A, B and we have proved now let us produce say C, D ok we produce D, C to E ok so which is the exterior angle form angle B, C, E is the exterior angle so, according to this theorem, exterior angle BCE is equal to the interior opposite angle BAD. Okay? So, don't get confused. The exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. Usually, the common error which children make is they get confused with the triangle theorem and they come add up any two interior opposite angles and they mix up both the theorems. In a triangle, the exterior angle is equal to some of the interior opposite angles. But in a cyclic quadrilateral, the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. So in this case, exterior angle uh, BCE will be equal to interior opposite angle BAD. Okay. So similarly, if you produce any side, this theorem is applicable. So we have verified that the exterior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Is it clear children? Okay.